Hi, my name is Christine Chalska and I'm the president of Atheist Alliance International. I am the first Canadian to have been elected to the board of directors for the American Humanist Association and I am a co-host on the Legion of Reason podcast based out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I'm also a PhD candidate at the University of Calgary. I study the intelligent design movement and I am an atheist because I was raised in a secular family and for that I'm very grateful. I'm Christy Winters, and thanks for joining us for the news. Quote, according to the state of civil laws in each country where reporting is obligatory, it is not necessarily the duty of the bishop to report suspects to authorities, the police, or state prosecutors in the moment when they are made aware of crimes or sinful deeds. End quote. These controversial words from a Vatican-issued training manual for new bishops are raising eyebrows and the attention of advocacy groups like SNAP, the survivor's network of those abused by priests. The sentiment that many bishop have, bishops have no legal obligation to report sexual abuse by the clergy was echoed by the primary author of the document, French Monsignor Tony Anatrel, a who during a training program for newly appointed bishops said that the responsibility to report sex abuse lies with the victim and their parents. Anna Trella's opinion is not necessarily the official view of the Vatican, although he is employed as a consultant to the Pontifical Council for the, F the Family and the Pontifical Council for Health Worker Healthcare Workers, and he has a degree in psychoanalysis. He also apparently has a tin ear when it comes to public opinion, and actually writing an, an actual wrong and right. If you're unfamiliar with the Catholic vlogger Theodore Schubat, he is the son of Walid Schubat, a pundit who made headlines a few years ago as he made the rounds of right-wing news sites and Christian speaking engagements claiming to be a reformed former Islamic terrorist and member of the Muslim Brotherhood. The elder Shubat's reputation suffered under scrutiny when it was revealed that several of the terrorist antics he claimed to have engaged in never actually occurred. Theodore, the younger Shubat, has recently made some minor controversy by saying in videos posted to his YouTube channel that Jesus would have supported the murder of homosexuals and that gays in New Orleans regularly rape boys as the authorities do nothing. Most recently, Shubat the less has again garnered attention when the website White Right Wing Watch reposted one of Shobat's videos in which he called for the burning of non and anti Christian literature, calling out in particular the writings of atheists such as Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens. He called any views which are contrary to the Catholic teachings, quote, dangerous and demonic, unquote, and said that atheism leads to, quote, a giant mountain of skulls and dead people, unquote. It is often said that the minority religion always recognizes the need for secularism. That observation is again becoming relevant in the former Soviet na nation of Georgia, a presidential republic in Eurasia. A blasphemy bill is headed for the parliament having been approved at the committee stage. If passed, the law would impose a fine for, quote, insults to religious feelings, unquote, of 100 lari, which is equivalent to around 120 US dollars and that amount would be double for repeat offenders. Meanwhile, the fine for desecrating a religious symbol could be as high as a thousand lari, this in a nation where the average monthly salary is less than 818 laris. Supporters of the law claim it is intended to protect all religious ideologies, but critics have serious doubts that the law would actually offer much support to any faith other than the majority orthodox. As its local evangelical bishop was quoted as saying, this law is not going to protect anyone, at least not the minorities, and will be a powerful tool against freedom of speech. According to Wikipedia, in 2002, 83.9% of the population of Georgia practiced Christian orthodoxy.